Hello everyone, this is Adnan with Canaps Training Videos. Uh, <clears throat> this is a new series. In this series, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna create uh, hands-on labs in regards to uh, MCSC, one of the MCSC exams, 70 uh, dash uh, 70 dash 740, which is installation storage and compute with server 2016. <clears throat> so um, so this will be. Uh, so th so so in this uh, in this first video I'm gonna show you how to work with how to create your home lab in order to prepare for this exam uh, so this is the lab architecture in this lab architecture you have three virtual you need to prepare three virtual machines using VMware workstation or Hyper-V or uh, any other virtualization technology so there will be two servers and one client uh, so in order to follow all of these labs and there will be three video series uh, for for the three exams so if you follow the same naming convention it will be very easy for you to troubleshoot and and go with the labs so the first server name will be canops tor srv1 canops is the organization name uh, tor is for toronto uh, which is the location of the organization and it's server one and then canops tor server two and canops tor server uh, it is a client machine the first two uh, uh, the first two version machines are server 2016 and the last one is uh, windows 10 ip address will be following this uh, so the first server ip address is one second two and the third one is 10 uh, which is this IP address and uh, the DNS will be the same for all of them and as soon as we prepare a server we'll follow these uh, standard server guidelines create a VM then we rename it to the proper VM name and then we'll disable the firewall disable IE enhanced security and then assign IP address and then check all VMs connectivity uh, so this is um, this will be how once the machines are set it they will be connected to a virtual switch and then they are connected to uh, a Windows 7 client machine so just keep that in mind that we're for we are following this architecture let's start our lab so all we need to do is we can go here and start preparing our first server so first of all I'm gonna close all of them here and create a new uh, server 2016 now when creating a server 2016 always remember that always select this option to start with because 2016 server does not uh, is not able to un is not able to connect to ISO if we select normally we do select ISO from here but for 2016 just select this uh, option and here it will give you 2016 if you have workstation 12 and above if you have older VMware workstation so it this uh, it won't be able to recognize 2016 so I would suggest get a, a VMware workstation as a latest version and then click next and here we can provide the name so the name that we have canips T O R srv1 so this is our first server name and i'm going to copy this so that i can use it for the other server and rest is exactly the same now since it is server 2016 start the server we haven't provided the iso uh, yet it will give an error message so what i will do is right click on this while this is starting up go to the settings now the good thing about video is you can pause and go slow and go back so the, so uh, here i'm going fast but you can go slow uh, if you if this is the first time you're creating server 2016 so select the cd and then iso and then uh, browse to your iso file so here i'm gonna go to the iso file this is my server 2016 and next 2016 is evaluation version you can get it off the internet as well if you don't have it it will g so it so the so this is giving an error message even if i try again it will uh, now it will it, it's connected to so I clicked and press enter but if you click and press enter and if it doesn't if it doesn't work then what you can do is you can just uh, yeah you can just restart the guest so you can just go here and restart uh, reset the guest so this is the first server being prepared and uh, it will ask for the language so here we will go next and then we'll install now So we're starting so and uh, 
so once it's uh, so on the next screen it will ask for which type of operating system you are you need uh, would you need server 2016 standard version would you need ser server 2016 data center version so we're going to go with data center version and desktop experience uh, these two the the one that does not say anything in front of standard and data center these are server core edition so for now we're just going with this option and next and after that once we select uh, terms and conditions select the custom option and then next and here now it is uh, Connecting it is trying to inst now it will be installing server 2016 <clears throat> So in the same manner while this is going on we can prepare the second server based on our architecture So if I go back to our architecture our architecture So this server is being prepared now. I'm gonna prepare second server and after that I'll prepare uh, Windows 7 machine so here uh, let me go out and create the second server and in this I'm gonna just paste because remember we copied it so all I need to do is change the number and then next and here we can go and again I will power on this machine I will go to the I will go to the settings here and then within the settings i'll go to cd drive cd drive and select the iso browse and select the proper iso so oh, i need to go into iso file and here and then remember that this needs to be connected so here make sure this is connected and then click ok and once you're done uh, it's uh, once the error is here you can click and press enter or I can just go here and restart guest so it will restart get it, it guest and it will understand the new ISO and it's loading file files now so in few moments it will ask for uh, the language so here while this is going on I can go on and create the third uh, machine which is our client machine in this in client machine you don't have to do this so just go with this option and here we can browse and uh, we need windows 10 this time or or windows 10 or windows 8 both are same so so here uh, let me see if i have windows 8 uh, this is so windows 8 i do have windows 8 I'm gonna go with Windows 8 if you have Windows 10 it's fine well it's okay as well so here uh, where we will be using the same naming convention and see L1 so this is a client machine and next so when it's preparing a client machine it's it pre start preparing the disk it takes a few moments to create a disk and then start the operating system installation so while this is preparing i'll pause and i will be back in few few minutes so after creating the disk what it's doing now is uh, it's starting uh, to uh, windows 8 installation server number two we left it at the initial start uh, of installation so here I need to go to next and then install and uh, it will ask for which type of uh, operating system do we need do we need standard or do we need data center standard is for a medium to large size organization and data center version is for very large organization uh, now these are evaluation copies if the companies are looking for data center version it is around six thousand dollars whereas standard version is around uh, eight hundred or nine hundred dollars so standard version is for uh, medium to large size organization here I'm gonna go with desktop experience and next data center evaluation desktop experience and I accept so this option is for need uh, this option is for upgrade if you need to upgrade from 2012 to 2016 uh, you will not be able to upgrade from 2008 to 2016 to from 2008 it will it will be a new install for 2016 but 20 if you have server 2012 that can be upgraded to 2016 and this is for the new custom installation so here I'm gonna go with uh, next so server 1 is being installed server 2 is being installed and client is being installed so I'm gonna pause the video 
So here, um, server one is being restarted, server two is still being installed, so client machine is still being installed. So all three machines are um, automatically being installed. You don't have to do anything. Server one is stopped here. I will provide the password, but I'll still stop. Uh, I'll, I will still uh, I'll pause the video here. Once all of them installed, then I'll configure them uh, all at once. Okay guys, all three servers are ready. Uh, actually two servers and one client is ready. So I will try to make this video uh, uh, limiting to 10 minutes. So in this video, I've shown you how to create these uh, servers. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to configure the servers uh, following the server build guidelines.